proclamation and resolution stuff here. I have a resolution um, for a uh, grant for the multi for a multimodal transportation fund grant of four hundred twenty five thousand dollars for the common from the Commonwealth. That's uh, going to be used for the LVRT Phase Six A, the Wingert Memorial Park connector, and Phase B at the Glonninger Park connector. And this resolution simply designates uh, me and Jonathan Fitzke uh, the ability to execute the documents and agreements having to do with that grant. I'll make a motion to uh, adopt that resolution. I'll second the motion. We moved and seconded that we approve that LVRT motion for Wengard and Glonninger Parks. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. So ordered. I have a proclamation for you uh, asking you to ratify this. This came up uh, in between meetings. It was a proclamation to recognize uh, Cameron Schaefer, who is a scout in Troop 74 of the Boy Scouts of America. He had achieved the rank of Eagle Scout on February 6, 2020, and his uh, Court of Honor recognition was held over the weekend last week. And um, he, his project was that he and a group of volunteers removed 85 tattered and worn veteran grave markers at Gravel Hill Cemetery and replaced them and installed permanent markers and uh, installed the appropriate war emblems for those with those markers. So I would ask for your approval on that ratification on that proclamation. I move that we ratify the proclamation for Cameron Schaefer. Second. It's been moved and seconded that we approve that Eagle Scout proclamation, or ratify it, excuse me. Um, any discussion? Bill, were you attending? I, I did attend. It was, uh, it was a very nice event and uh, an admirable young man. Uh, he's only a sophomore in high school and he's reached, achieved the uh, Eagle level, which is uh, often does not happen. So wow. he really, uh, really incredible and a very active troop in uh, today's world that they're you know very well represented and did a great job so what was the number of the scout troop again 74. Uh, 74 and that was in like dolphin county or something yes but uh, his he and his family live in palmyra commission ah that was my question what the connection was to gravel hill thank you well, as an Eagle Scout, Bill, I appreciate your doing that and taking, uh, making uh, your time available for those uh, events. Thank you. Uh, my pleasure. Thank you. All right. Uh, Jamie? Yes. Uh, next, I uh, Can we vote? We didn't vote on that. <laughs> All in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Both same signs, so moved. All right. Now I, I told them that we had uh, unanimous uh, approval, so I, did, I don't want to disappoint them. <laughs> okay. Very good. All right. Uh, I want to take a few minutes to go over some uh, some approvals or request your approvals on a, on a couple of things relating to the the CARES grants, and those are the small business grants, the um, the nonprofit the tourism, et cetera, grants, and then also I have some invoices to be approved by you for the mask campaign that is also a component of the CARES allocation to Lebanon County, as you know. Um, the, um, the application period was open from September 1st to September 15th, uh, closed up on four, at four o'clock on Tuesday afternoon. We had a, a very high uh, level of interest in those grants, uh, I think a little higher than maybe than expected, but uh, I would credit um, Barb Kaufman and Kaufman Creative, and along with the, the other team members who I've had here at the meeting already, um, Karen Grow of the of the uh, chamber, Brooke Smith of United Way, Jen Cuzo from Tourism, Susan Everly from Economic Development Corporation. We also uh, utilized Vin Garcia of Garcia Garmin and Shea. Great team that uh, really also helped to get the word out. We had a number of questions that were posed uh, to the info at LebanonCountyCares.com, and the and the whole process I think went really well. Um, and I. I uh, would say at maybe the risk of jinxing, I hope not, but we're, we're doing better than some of the counties who had a head start have had a jump on this. Uh, you know, as everyone knows, we got a little bit of a late start 
and only uh, receiving the money in, in later in August, uh, but we were ready to go and got it out there and there are a lot of applications, uh, 275 roughly applications. So the next step in that process is that the working group I just identified is going to go through and make sure they're all there for the completeness, uh, any missing documentation, anything, just basically a, a prep kind of uh, period to make, to, to get them ready for review and for your ultimate consideration um, for grant awards. What we'd like to do is I'm, I'm going to ask for your approval to appoint an application, a CARES grant application review panel. They will look over the, the, the narratives of the application. Most of the components of the application are automatically scored by, by a rubric that was approved by you, by a scoring uh, rubric that was approved by you. Uh, that's been set up so that if the information is filled in, it, will, it gets an automatic score for, for the, the information being there and depending on the, uh, the relative numbers to the category in some cases. In other words, it, we have certain grant levels for certain uh, levels of, or sizes of the business. About 80% of the score is, is automated and 20% of the score is going to be the narrative that was submitted. We'd like to uh, ask you to appoint this panel to look through those narratives and give those narratives a score, all 275 of them, and then they'll, everything will be compiled and presented to you as recommendations for your approval um, of those grants. And I intend to do that on September 30th. Um, and then we will work as quickly as we possibly can here to get those grants turned around and get the checks in the hands of the recipients. And um, providing there is um, sufficient funding to go through a second round, we will start a second round then October 15th. So I've, I've spoken with each of you about some some suggested names or some, some nominations for an application review panel, and I'd like to list uh, five people here for you to consider uh, these folks I have spoken with, and they have all five agreed to, to serve on this panel um, and give their time and expertise and so on to this. And uh, let me just uh, walk through, and if I could just list them here. Um, first member, would be Donna Williams. Donna is the Chief Operating Officer of Lebanon Family Health Services here in Lebanon. I think you all know her um, and uh, are acquainted with her. And uh, she, uh, in speaking with her, she would be happy to help. Pat Kerwin is the Executive Director of the Expo Center. Uh, again, has a tourism component, uh, eye toward tourism, and um, and also a good background having been with, uh, with Perko in his past career, Lebanon or I'm sorry, the, the, the um, farm show building and now at the Expo Center. Uh, Sonia Gross is with Stiefel Investors. I think you're acquainted with Sonia who comes in often with Stiefel for an update on our, on our uh, pension fund. She is a member of the Leadership Lebanon Valley class right now and I think would be well suited for this kind of review. Um, Christian Stahl, who is a, a young man who just graduated Villanova University uh, with honors and who has landed a job in the finance industry, but part of the, the deal that his new employer uh, required is that he works half of his time right now with them and half of his time be given to community service with some nonprofits in his community. So he is working, splitting his time between Lebanon County Christian Ministries and the United Way. And uh, he's very excited to be, to serve on this committee if asked or if approved. And um, he's a resident of Mill Creek Township. And lastly, uh, Jeffrey Roche is a healthcare strategist with Harrisburg University of Science and Technology. He is your appointee on the South Central Workforce Investment Board. He is a member of the Economic Development uh, corporation, the EDC board, and um, so those five individuals uh, recommend for approval of this application review panel, and then we will go through that process and, and get to you with recommendations. One thing I do want to mention is two of these members express concern that the organizations they work for have submitted applications. Um, what I've told them and what I'll tell you is that uh, when when that application is reviewed, they will not be part of it. They will not score 
the narrative. Um, instead, we'll take the scores of four out of five uh, panelists on that and average the four rather than average the five. So I think that's a, a easy way to avoid any conflict there and, um, you know, any proceed. I'll make a motion to uh, approve the five nominees for the review panel. And I do have a question. I'll second a motion. It's been moved and seconded. Uh, now we'll consider questions. Uh, Commissioner Litz. Yes, Jamie, I was just curious. You said all 275 app narratives will be read. If some of them do not qualify by the rubric, um, or incomplete information, they would not be reviewed, would they? I guess to be clear, those who, yeah, who, who uh, pass through the, the completeness and the eligibility and all of that, yeah, I'm just, I just used that number because I know that's approximately what the total is right now. That could go down. Well, I we pray they do all go through, but I would hate to see them, uh, if they're volunteers, reading extra that they didn't have to. And if there's anything that's, you know, significantly missing or wrong with the application that, that it's a you know that uh, keeps them from being eligible this round they're certainly welcome in the next round i know we had a number that were number of them that came in after the deadline which was well publicized and it was a two-week period and, and you know, so those those applications will be invited for the next round i believe would they have to resubmit if we go a second round yeah okay thank you anything else if not, all in favor of the motion to approve these uh, this review panel, uh, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So moved. Okay. Thank you. And uh, as you'll recall, I think I've stated, if I said it once, I've probably said it a dozen times, but every dollar that is um, spent of these grants funds will go through this meeting. So you will be the approving authority on every dollar that is spent. Um, you know, for, for everything that between now and, and the end of December. So with that in mind, I will likely at every one of your commissioner meetings have a list of uh, invoices to be paid that uh, will be either part of the, will be the, the recommended grants um, for the, under the CARES program for businesses, nonprofits, and tourism, or anything relating to the mask campaign, which is the other component to this. So. Um, it's a little bit early in that, uh, that your last meeting is, was well publicized. You uh, appointed or, or contracted with Fresh Creative uh, in Lebanon here to, to oversee that campaign. And uh, so I have a first invoice from Fresh Creative for a retainer for the pro rata portion um, of September, I'm sorry, of, of August. And then uh, I also have two invoices for um, public relations that was purchased, ad space that was purchased to advertise the grants for the first uh, round of applications. So uh, Fresh Creative would be the first invoice in the amount of 13,333.40. Uh, second invoice is for Camara, which is the uh, Spanish radio station in Lebanon County. We had placed ads there for $500. And also for Lebtown, news which was uh, placed some digital advertising on there for the cares grant program to the tune of eight eight hundred dollars so total invoices of fourteen thousand six thirty three forty motion i'll make a motion to approve the uh bills as submitted or invoices whichever you want to call them i'll second the motion we moved and seconded any comment or question Hearing none, all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So moved. Okay, two more items. Uh, in, in, in the packet of information provided to you, there is a letter of support being requested by Lebanon Valley College for the submission of a redevelopment assistance capital program grant from the Commonwealth. I think you're familiar with the otherwise known as RACP grants. Uh, this is something that gets, it it's goes before the legislature and the, and the governor for their consideration and approval, I believe, uh, as part of the annual budget. Uh, this grant, if approved, would be used toward the construction of a 20, I'm sorry, yes, a 25,000 square foot facility 
that will be a uh, four-year baccalaureate nursing program at Lebanon Valley College, and they've given reasons for the, the need for this, that RN positions are expected to grow by, the need for RNs are expected to grow by 13.4% um, between now and 2026, and that um, LBC also recently opened a 55,000 square foot Arnold Health Professions Pavilion, which houses doctorates of physical therapy, masters in athletic training, and some other um, disciplines that that would dovetail with the uh, with the RN program. So this would be a letter of support, which is commonly requested to accompany these applications. I'll make a motion that we uh, issue a letter of support for Lebanon Valley College for Iraq B. Glant. Second the motion. It's been moved and seconded that we approve this request of Lebanon Valley College. Any further discussion? Uh, my only comment would be we should revisit our Iraq P uh, for our uh, emergency services building. Um, anything else? Uh, if not, all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So moved. Okay. Okay. Last item is a, uh, a veteran, disabled veteran exemption request from real estate taxes for Victoria May of Bates Drive Anvil, having met all the requirements of the program. I'll make a motion to approve a real estate tax exemption for Victoria May, disabled veteran. Second. Okay, the motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So moved. Yeah, you have uh, assessment appeals at 130, commercial appeals. Uh, I'm not sure of the count at this point. It was six or eight the last I had heard, but I'm not sure exactly. It's about right. 